In this lab demo, we will be exploring why being too big can cause problems for cells. So here I have a cubes of agar, the three cubes right here. Um, agar is a type of algae which can be made into jelly-like substance just like this one. The agar cubes are blue because I added bromethamol blue. As you recall, BTB or bromethamol blue is a pH indicator, which means that it can help us figure out the pH of a solution. Each agar cube that you see here represents a different sized cell. The volume of an agar cube, aka the cell size, can be measured using the following formula. Length, time width, time height. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pause this video and I want you to calculate the volume of each of these cubes. So I'll move this out of the way so you can see. So we have the large cube, the medium sized cube and the small cube at the end here. And again, if you want to, uh, in order to calculate the volume, you are going to multiply length times width times height for each one of the cubes. Once you are done doing that, please resume the video. All right, hopefully you had a chance to calculate the volume of each uh, agar cube. Um, in these little uh, mini beakers that you see here, I have vinegar. Um, as you all know, vinegar is an acidic solution. So when exposed to acid, the bromethamol blue inside these agar cubes will change color. It should turn like a light yellow to even a clear color. Um, we'll see what happens once we do that. I'm going to be adding the cubes to the beakers containing the vinegar solution and what's going to happen is the vinegar inside um, the solutions here is going to diffuse into the agar cubes and that's going to cause, like I said, a color change. Um, in this model, the cubes again are representing a cell, so each one of these is a cell of a different size and the vinegar here is representing an essential uh, material that the cell needs to survive so it could be something like water minerals oxygen so of course this is a model we often use models in science to understand complicated com uh, complex uh, concepts that we don't see um, and we're using this model to represent how essential uh, nutrients like I said oxygen water etc can diffuse into cells represented here by the agar Okay, so I'm gonna add the large agar in the, into the first vinegar solution, the second or the medium size into the second um, uh, solution, and then the third one into the last solution. So uh, I'm gonna wait five minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, so five minutes have passed and right away you can see that there is a definite difference in the amount of vinegar that was diffused into each one of the cubes. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I need some quantitative data, so I'm going to measure the colored area of each cube. So for the largest cube, uh, I'm going to measure the colored area only, okay? So the colored area, the dimension of the colored area or the width of the colored area is 1. Uh, 1.5 centimeters. Uh, the, mid the middle sized agar cube, we have 1 centimeter of colored uh, area remaining and in the smallest one we have no colored area remaining so remember in this model the agar cube is representing the cell and the vinegar was representing an essential uh, substance that the cell needs so it could have been oxygen it could have been water minerals vitamins whatever the colored area that remains represents the area of the cell that did not receive these essential nutrients Okay, so right away, we can kind of see, we can note that the largest cell, a huge part of the large cell did not receive these essential nutrients. A, a, also, a, a fairly large size of the middle sized cell did not receive the essential nutrients, while the smallest cell received all of their essential The only cell that would survive is the smallest size cell. And again, this is because um, it's, it has received all parts of the cell, the entire volume, all of the cytoplasm, if this was actually a cell, all of the cytoplasm received these essential nutrients. And we can see that by the fact that the entire cube of agar turned clear or I guess yellowish 
therefore indicating that the vinegar diffused in all parts of the cell. And for this reason, smaller cells, um, or for this reason, cells have to be small because the smaller the cell is, the higher chances it will have for all of the essential nutrients, vitamins, oxygen, um, and all the important substances that the cell needs to diffuse to all parts of the cell um, in, in a much faster period of time and much more efficiently, therefore allowing the cell to survive.